hi in this session I would like to give introduction to the ulti board and its applications okay ulti board is the next step of multi sim okay in the multi sim we make the circuit and we will do the simulation okay here I choose the circuit in the multi sim and I will do the simulation here the circuit is converting the AC voltage into DC voltage this LED is giving a indication that the output voltage is produced ok 5 volts now let us make a circuit design for this in the ulti board like to make the PCB ok once the simulation is done and if it is working fine we have to transfer the circuit to the ulti board before doing that we have to make sure that all the components should be in blue color sometimes some components will be in black color which means the footprint is not, not assigned to it okay anytime you can assign the assign the footprint by using the database suppose if you want to assign a um, footprint for this resistor just click the component go to properties edit footprint select from database see you can choose any two pin component footprint suitable to you and you can assign it I am selecting this footprint and I am assigning the footprint pins selecting yes at any point of time you can change the footprint of the any component for suppose I will show you again how to check the footprint of the component just select this LED go to properties yeah sometimes you will not see for some components for that what you have to do here in the corner uh, you will find an option component just move it up LED 1 he is our component the footprint is something is assigned but I want to check that component uh, footprint just click on it select from database this is the footprint right now it is using if you are happy with it you can go with it otherwise you can change it it is ok for me so I am gonna be with the same now if I hope you understand how to assign the footprint for the components now let us transfer these components to ulti board here is the option just click on it it will ask you to ch save the file so I am saving this voltage regulator with LED indication just save Just click on OK. Now all the components assigned to ulti board. This is the area for the ulti board. Sorry. Ulti board. Okay, this is the area by default will show you the PCB size. Actually, we don't need this much size for the small circuits. Okay, we can make the changes. Here are the options which are very important will be useful for you uh, this is the option option to enable the components this is for the tracks and pads and all uh, in practice you will understand these things okay let us play with the circuit select all the components place them in the working area now arrange them in order you can zoom in and zoom out by using the mouse this is the first I will choose the voltage input source the pattern is your wish uh, you can choose your own version to make the PCB
you can turn the components as you wish suppose if you want to turn this D2 you can set the component and control R so you can turn the component Turning it into right. the main agenda of this arranging these components is to reduce the conflicts between two or more connections. Okay, we have to make sure there should not be any conflict between the connections. Here I will explain few uh, skills will be useful for you. Okay, here for this LED there are two pads, anode and cathode, uh, which looks very close. So if you want to edit a of this particular component, you can make changes in the pad size and all. Just select the component, go to in place part edit, where you can move. Yeah, select the pad here. You can move the pads part away so it will look nice while doing the tracking auto routing. Okay, just click on this, it will go back to the normal screen. Here, the potential uh, sorry, uh, the voltage regulator pins looks close. So, go for in place edit and move them away from each other so it will be okay. Altiboard is having lot of lot of skills required actually, but in practice only we will understand how to make this. Need more practice on it to understand the each skills. okay now let us do the next step once you arrange the components let us rearrange the pad uh, working area this looks little big let us make it small select border outline select the border outline just make it close since our circle is small this area is enough for us now You can do auto routing or you can do the routing manually. Okay, auto routing option is here. Just click on route, auto routing. It will show you the direct connections and it will make itself so you can directly arrange the lines and all. If you want to do manually, I'll show you manually. Okay, here one line is showing in red color because the software is taking itself this line is having some touch here with the copper top area so it is making the second version like a copper bottom so it is a two layer circuit but if you want to use use it as a single layer you have to rearrange this line by to make it as a single line single layer board just de delete this line and rearrange this line manually to make this circuit as a single layer PCB now <coughs> somehow I have to make the connection from here to here manually I want to choose make it manually use this option follow me I want to draw like this way if it is manually we can choose our own way to have less errors in the circuit 
see this is it this is our PCB now now we have to use the proper width of the tracks proper size of the uh, pads component pads okay I will show you how to make the changes